Hello children, how are you all? Hope you are good and safe at home. In the last class, we, we have seen the lesson number one, that is the raindrop. Today, we are going to start the poem. So, can you tell me which animals can eat leaves from tree tops that bears and elephants cannot? It's giraffe. So, do you know which body part helps it to reach the tree top? Its long trunk helps it to reach the tree tops to eat leaves. So, let's see the poem. See the giraffe. He is so tall. There is no room to get him all. So, you know children, the giraffe is the tallest animal. So, can it get into your room? No, it cannot get into your room because the room height is lesser than the giraffe's height. Upon the pitch, his head is higher. The picture proves it than the spire. Here the giraffe is compared to a spire children. What is a spire? A tall pointed structure on the top of a church tower. So he is taller than the spire. That's why the people when they race to catch him call it a steeple chase. To catch the giraffe it's really very tough. So they are calling it a steeple chase. Steeple chase means a race in which participants jump over water, fences and so on. So to catch a giraffe is really a very tough job. His chief delight is to set a good example of shine or wet. Here his chief delight, delight means children, please greatly. So the giraffe want to please everyone by setting an example of shine or wet. Shine or wet means shine is giving light. Wet means when you get wet in water, you complete soaked in water. And you go out in the sun, how your body will be, it will give some light due to Sun. So like that the giraffe wants to set an example for all of us. He rises at the break of a day and starts his breakfast right early. So the giraffe gets up early in the morning children. Er means before. He rises before the sun rises and as soon as he gets up he is having his breakfast. So are you all getting up early in the morning? Yes. It's a very good habit to get up early in the morning and have your breakfast daily. Do not skip your breakfast. So his food has such a way to go. His throat is so very long and so. So his food has having a such a way to go. Because his throat is very long. It takes time to get into the stomach. And early breakfast he must munch. To get it down time for lunch. He had his breakfast early in the morning. So he must munch it. Munch means eating noisily and steadily. So when the giraffe is eating he is making some sound and it should reach down its stomach get it digested so that it has some space till the it reaches the stomach and each time it should be digested so this was the poem children and read the poem okay children bye